I'm looking like a glowing goddess because it's like 7 a.m. <laughs> being blinded. If you hear things, it's because I'm in the car. But I just, <laughs> just had a frustrating morning and I thought I could talk about it. I was so excited to go to work today because I just, I told my coworkers like I bought this new dress this weekend. I'm so excited to wear it and I was like planning it out. And then it kind of just became a thing with the drunk girls of like, oh, let's all wear dresses on the nicest day this week. So that's today, that's this morning. I got up early, I did my hair, which I never do. I did my makeup, obviously. I got my new nice dress on. I was feeling good until I got down to the shoes. One of the biggest issues I've always had is like clothing and shoes. I wanna be a fashionista, I really, really do. But it's difficult when you have an atypical body. I don't, I have a limited amount of shoes, okay? Just because they're so frustrating for me to buy that I don't keep them around if they don't really work. So I have maybe <clears throat> like six to eight pairs of shoes in my closet. A lot of them are old, and as of this morning, found out a lot of them don't work for me anymore. And I never know what size shoe to buy because my, my genuine shoe size is about like a seven, but I always have to buy up because the hardest part of getting shoes on for me is wiggling my foot into the shoe. I can't do that, obviously. And on top of that, because I'm constantly sitting, I have circulation issues, meaning my foot is very often swollen to some extent. And it just happened to be particularly swollen this morning. So the shoes that worked for me last night were not even a possibility when I tried putting them on this morning. And so I'm panicking because I don't want to be late for work. My ankle was just so swollen. I was like, I can't wear like any shoes today. But like, I didn't know what to do. But I was like, oh my gosh, like I don't even want to put shoes on now. I just want to go to, sh I just want to go to work without shoes. It always seems to happen when my mom is there, which is honestly the best case scenario because my mom can tell when I'm getting frustrated and she's instantly like, okay, what's next? What are we gonna try to make the work with? So if my mom is sitting there with like a spoon acting as like a shoehorn with me in my bedroom, trying to yank this like shoe on and making sure like my foot's still not hurt. I got really frustrated really quickly and it just makes me like reminiscent on other times that this happens and I hate when it happens because it makes me feel insecure and it just made me like have a flashback of trying to buy prom dresses. If you tried buying any formal dress without some kind of zipper and having scoliosis, okay, they don't work. <laughs> and I, I like, I started crying when I went to buy my prom dress because I was like, I need the most basic, like slip of a dress that you have, no zippers, no structure of any kind. Just give me a blanket, basically, <laughs> and I will make it work. And you know what? I found a very simple black dress that I want to keep forever now. I get so frustrated with things that I can't control that it makes me feel bad about myself, and I don't want to do that. And I, like, I've dealt with that before, and I hate when I feel that way. And so I'm driving to work right now, and I'm thinking, clearly, I need some new shoe options, so I'm going to have a treat for myself tomorrow after work, and I'm going to go buy new shoes. So, I will be doing an update, probably tomorrow, when I go shoe shopping, <laughs> just to make myself feel better, and make myself feel damn good. So, I hope I have a great day, <laughs> I hope you have a great day, I will see you soon. <clears throat> new shoe jacket. Did you mean butt guys? <laughs> I was kind of choosing between two different like ankle boot type of styles. One was more like of a wintry boot though, and that just wasn't wasn't it for the end of March. So I went with these. Also, they're very simple, but I like the color, and it seems like a very easy like everyday work kind of shoe. Um, but the other things I liked about it is the very minimal heel heels don't typically work for me. I've seen other girls in wheelchairs that are able to rock them and like more power to you, but I simply cannot. I have tried many a time. If it's the heel over like an inch, my ankle tends to cave inward and it just kind of sits there all day and just makes my foot hurt. And it's just, it doesn't look right. It doesn't feel right. The other thing I liked about these shoes is that it's lace up. So it gives me a little more leeway when I'm making it like fit me, um, especially given the fact that my prosthetic my fake leg foot isn't obviously gonna be the exact same as my real foot. So I can tighten or loosen it as much as I need to to help it stay on my leg. <laughs> if there's not like a great traction on the bottom of a shoe, 
my feet tend to, both my real and fake one, just kind of slip off my foot plates and just gallivant and do what they want. <laughs> it's, that's not it for me. So on the right side of my foot plate, I have put a couple of pieces of Velcro on there. And um, a lot of times with my like trickier shoes, they tend to just kind of give me grief, but I still like them, so I wear them. I will put the matching side of the Velcro on the base of the other shoe. So I can just kind of stamp it on there and know that that foot's kind of not gonna go anywhere. Another thing that I like is my um, cup holder that I have on the right side of my frame. I can actually use that to tilt in and out and it actually helps hold my fake leg more in place while I'm moving. So I really like that. And that makes with the Velcro, like it's not going anywhere. At that point, I just have to worry about my real leg freaking out. <laughs> I was thinking about it and I kind of want to do at least one more video, if not one or two, just more on this topic of just like accessible accessories, <laughs> let's say, of, um, clothing that works best for me or even little things like it's really hard to wear rings or bracelets because they clink every time I push my wheels you know stuff like that so how I feel cute always you know I wore these for the first time today I think they're pretty cute I love the color of them and I'm excited to wear them to work next week um but yeah like I said I want to do a couple more videos on little tips and tricks that I found that help me feel like I look the best I can. So look out for that in the future. I hope you liked this video. If you did like it, please leave it a like and share and comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. But until I see you again, don't forget to love yourself and I will see you very soon. Bye.